Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Frozen Steve. I only say I'm Frozen Steve on days when it's crazy cold and today it's minus 15 degrees Celsius. It's pretty cold out here, so I'm not staying out here too long. The only glorious thing with having a day with minus 15 Celsius is that all the girly men and the girly women stay at home. They don't come out, it's too cold for them. So that means I get the whole area to myself. And today I have the FMS Flash. Now you may have seen a lot of videos on the FMS Flash, people flying it, because it's been out for a while. I even tried to make a video of this in the summer because I fly this in the summertime. I tried to launch it off a catapult, like twing, so that I could stand and talk to you. And uh, well, it failed. If I still have video of that, I'll play it now. All right, let's see if we can get this up in the air. So we have some prop power, but uh, here we go. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, it doesn't go up high enough. Yeah, I gotta hand toss this one, unfortunately. So this is one of those planes that requires a hand launch because there's no wheels on the bottom and it has a very spinny prop at the back. It's extremely powerful, powerful, powerful motor at the back. You don't want to get your hands anywhere near it. Now FMS says this plane is supposed to go over 100 miles per hour and I believe them because in the summertime when I've flown it, it goes pretty fast through the skies. You want to keep it away from people so it's definitely not a beginner plane. If you've got experience flying planes, you can easily fly this because it does stay true in the air, but it's very fast so you have to make sure you get on it quick to control it if it's heading into the ground into a person into a building or anything like that so that you can avoid such a catastrophe now the thing i love about this plane is let me bring it close and show you see this canopy i could pull it off it comes with an fpv canopy so i'm going to use this canopy today to put a camera on here so i could show you some footage of it flying as well as uh, a gps to see the speed and if i have time and i'm not super frozen i'll actually put an fpv camera and I'll wear goggles and fly it. All right, you can see I put a little Insta360 Go up here. So that's going to give us some footage shooting out sideways this way. I can't shoot it to the front because this plastic canopy is in the way. It's designed for FPV. I have tried in the past putting an Insta360 camera on the fuselage up here, but it flies so fast the camera just gets blown off. So it's not good. So for this flight, I have a 50C 2200 milliamp hour 4S LiPo battery. Now in super cold temperatures in Canada, we always go with the higher C rating, the colder it gets because you want the power to flow from the battery to the brushless motor, ESC, everything. But on days like today where it's like extremely cold, uh, I think it's going to be kind of wimpy. So I don't even know if we'll get our 100 miles per hour. Let's get our battery in. It goes all the way to the nose. There we go. Plug in our battery and we should be set to go. Ron, you're at the field. You're not a girly man. And look at you have bare hands. Yeah. Oh my God, it's cold. Hey, can you do me a favor? Chuck it? Yeah, can you chuck it? Sure. Okay. Okay, when you throw it, uh, can you throw it at a 45 degree angle? As soon as you launch it, then I'm going to turn on the motor. I don't want you to worry. All right. I'm not worried. All right. Ron is so awesome. Okay, Ron. Anytime. You ready? Yeah, just throw it. Oh, that dipped down real fast. Yeah, normally it flies. I thought the toss was nice. Your toss was nice. I probably put it on too late. A little too late. Yeah. And then it just turned over. Yeah, that's it. How does the nose look? Uh, the nose looks a little rough. It's just easy to, enough to that's glue back on. Fix. Yeah, easy fix. Nothing there. Here's our busted nose piece off the flash. To repair this, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna glue it back on, and when you glue it on correctly, you'll see the seam disappears. But if you just place glue here and glue here and put this on, it will hold up, but in a landing, it might bend upwards. So we're gonna put a carbon fiber rod through the foam and into the nose, and that will make it super strong, probably even stronger than it was when it came out of factory. So here we go. Just cut off some carbon fiber rod pieces. Next, just take a small screwdriver and you poke hole in the foam. There we go. One there, one over here. Put in a piece of carbon fiber rod. It's going to go in and one on the other side. There we are. Now we just want to see where they match up on the other side. So I push this in place in position approximately there. So I'm just going to make a mark on either side. You see our marks here and here. I'll just put some holes there and there. There we go. And now when I slide this on with glue, it should fit in perfectly. So first off, we're going to add some glue into this hole. Make sure these stay nice and tight. Next, we'll line up the nose. And as I'm lining it in place, I can see my holes that I made previously are there. Just move the rods into the holes. Lots of glue down the side. Lots of glue down the other side. And then, gonna hold and there we are we have a fully repaired 
flash nose. Now in the crash, the prop broke because it was so cold out and it is plastic. So we just have to replace this. There we go, let's put the prop on. This is the replacement prop. Add the washer, add the nut. And there we go. Everything is repaired and ready for another flight day. All right, I'm just powering on my radio. I'm back out again. You can see that our flash is all repaired. You can't even see any damage. One thing cool on the flash is right here, they put the servos on the top vice on the bottom so that when you belly land, uh, you have no damage, which is pretty smart. Okay, for this flight, I do have the GPS module down here and I have my Insta360 Go camera there held on by an elastic. It's very cold out here. Nothing is sticking to the plane. So hopefully these two items stay on. So about five minutes ago, there was a pile of wind blowing in my face which I thought was perfect to launch this but uh, the wind has stopped now so what has to happen is I have to throw it and then I have to grab my joystick and control it here, got here we go got it it wanted to roll so I'm gonna take it around slow this is very slow hopefully my camera didn't fall off bring goodbye so we can see it there we go and now I'm gonna take it by full speed so we're gonna turn it and there's no wind happening right now, so we're going to go full speed. You'll hear it screaming. There is the GPS on it, and I went through the side. I'll turn it. I'll see if I can bring it near me at full speed here. Now, the sun's there. You probably didn't see it, so let me go on the other side. I'll bring it around again. Okay, let's bring it back. You can hear it screaming, but you probably can't see it. That's full speed. Slow it down, come into a turn. And I'll bring it down, try to get it down low at slow speed and then crank it. The wind is affecting it, here we go. Now you gotta imagine, it's not gonna fly as fast as it would if I have had the other canopy on. I've got a heavy GPS module and a heavy Go, uh, Insta3 Go2 camera on it. So it's a bit of weight. It's gotta pull that around and uh, do its thing. But uh, it's, it's a working, it's a working. Here we go, Let's see if I can get it low here. There we go. <laughs> that wasn't full speed, that's just slow. It just sounds like a, a ton of hornets. Here, I'll bring it this way this time. So I'm going to say once again, this is not a plane for beginners because you can easily lose control of it due to the speed. There we go. All right, I'm curious to see what the speed is, so let's bring it down. Coming around, coming around. I've killed the power, so it has to fall out of the sky now. It's going into the wind. The wind is blowing it off to the side, so I'll see if I can get it to go right up my feet here. Going by. And there we go. Just missed the GoPro over there. Woohoo! Okay, I've got my phone to check the speed. Plane's down there. Let's check it out. My hat cam should film this. I'm going to hit stop, read. 143 kilometers an hour and the max height was 59 meters. I don't know. I'd like to try flying that thing with FPV camera on it. I don't know if I can get the FPV camera to stick. I'm going to go take it back in my Jeep and see if I can get it to stick on. And if I can get the camera to stick and everything else, then I should be able to throw it, fly it, put the goggles on, and fly it around FPV for a few minutes. So this is our canopy here, and uh, we have to put a little FPV camera in it, plus a battery to power the FPV camera. So here's my little FPV camera. It's a run cam right here. Run cam FPV. It works with the original DJI FPV goggles. All I've done, I've taken the run cam unit and I just double sided tape the camera up to the top of it right there. And then I have an antenna just off the back and then I place the plug in a 2S battery. I place the antenna under the elastic so it should work now. If my nose would stop running, I think we're pretty good to go. Okay, I've changed the battery in the flash. Next, I'm going to plug in the FPV goggles that have the frozen battery cable. Let's plug in the FPV camera and see if we get a signal or a fire. So when you're flying FPV this way, you have to put the record on. Recording. So there we go. So now you should see the image of me that it's recording. I think I'm the only human that does this, flies FPV on a very, very cold day. So I wouldn't recommend it to a lot of people. All right, arm it here. And I got nothing in the motor. The motor's frozen. The motor is frozen with the ice. It's literally frozen. I've moved it now, so. Yep, that's what happens. This is only in Canada, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so uh, here we go. Everything on correctly. 
Wow, I almost lost my goggles, almost lost. <laughs> Everything here, okay, I got a sec. I can get it up high. I see if I can do this with one hand. I'll fly with my right hand. Oh, there we go, got it. Okay, so that works. Flying with the right hand, put the goggles on with the left. There's the forest, flying over that. My eyes slowly have to adjust to what I see in the goggles. I still see the record going, so that's a good sign. So now, let's go find me. Let's find me. There's FPV flying. There I am down there. So slow it down. It's a little more difficult to see where the snow is and everything else when you're coming low like this. Here, I'll go up. You know, come over to the right, over to the road. Try not to crash into the road. There's a school over there. Today is family day in Canada, so all the families are at home, the little kitties, everything. So when you're flying FPV, it's much easier to fly a plane because everything makes sense. You're looking through the front uh, camera and everything makes sense as to where you're flying and where you're going. So let's go down this way, stay away from those trees and find me over here and then slow it down. I'll come around one side of me over here. Try not to hit me. I am. All right, people of the world, that's FPV flying on a cold day. I am frozen. Well, here, if you want to explore with FPV, you can go as far as the goggles will take you and the reception of your radio. So you can probably go pretty far. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go farther than half a mile. I would just to keep it safe, unless you had a long range antenna on everything. All right, so just like we did last time, we're going to land uh, coming at me this way. And uh, coming around, going out in the farmer's field. I don't feel like going to get you out here. Do a long, long turn backwards. If you see the plane bouncing around in the sky, that's because the plane is bouncing around in the sky due to the breeze when it turns. All right, so here we go. I'm going to slow it down. See those three trees? I am going to try not to hit them. See that park bench? I am going to try not to hit that. And see me? I am going to try not to hit that. But here we go. Flare. And we're sideways, and we're missing all the cameras. And <laughs> where are we? There, we? there we are. If I walk over here, there we are. All right, so that's FPV flying on a super cold, insanely crazy cold, massively freezing cold day. And uh, yeah, with the flash, the FMS flash. So, you know, I checked video on the flash. When I got this flash a year ago, I actually made a video of what comes in the box and how to assemble everything. So how about I show you that now? Go check this out. This is the box the FMS flash comes in and you'll note that everything is very well packaged in the box. Inside the box you'll find the instruction manual, the main wings, you'll notice the graphics are attached as well as the servos, the linkages. Also there's the horizontal stabilizer as well as the vertical stabilizer. Finally you have the main fuselage and you'll see the motors already attached, all the electronics, the ESC, the servos, everything is ready to go. You also receive two canopies, one for FPV and the other one is for racing. Last items include the wing spar plus the hardware to assemble everything. You will note that you do get two props, one spare. And now I'll show you how easy it is to assemble the flash. First slide the horizontal stabilizer into position. Next secure it in place with the two included screws. Now slide the vertical stabilizer into position ensuring that the rudder cable is held to the front. The vertical stabilizer is held into position using the three included screws. Now you can install the included linkage between the elevator control horn and the elevator servo. To install the main wings, first you need to take the wing spar and slide it through the main fuselage. Next take the servo cable coming off the wing and slide that into the fuselage. Now you can slide each of the wings over the wing spar. Each wing is held in position with two screws. When you install the prop, make sure the writing is facing outward. Place one of the included spacers inside the prop. Slide the prop over the shaft, add the washer, add the nut and tighten. Add your receiver, then bind the receiver to your radio and get out flying. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This is pretty cool. I, I love taking planes out, destroying them. That's what I love doing and then repairing them and then coming out again and flying uh, in the freezing cold, just freezing my rear end off and then uh, flying again FPV. I love it. <laughs> I actually do. I wouldn't do it if I didn't. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to buy this FMS flash, it's very popular. Go watch any video on it. It goes very fast, faster than I could get it to go today on this freezing cold day. Uh, you'll have a blast with it. And it is awesome that it comes with a canopy that you can put things up here like I have done today, as well as an FPV camera. And if you put the other canopy on, which is made for speed, well, then you'll get your 100 miles per hour. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Catch you the next one. Bye. Thank you.